Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and today I'm filming a very unplanned, unexpected video and as you can probably see from the title, I have just discovered I have got spider mites. So I was just doing my normal Saturday, Sunday morning, like kind of like plant routine. Um, I went to go check on the allocations on top of my wardrobe, which is where I keep them because they get um, bright indirect sunlight. And I went to go and see like the kind of like, check on that new growth on my like um, alocasia red secret, as I always do. And I noticed one of the leaves was just covered in spider mites. And I check on this like all the time. So this has really developed really, really quickly. And then I went on to check on my other alocasia. The one that I don't get down from the wardrobe so much because it's in like a big pot and it's quite heavy. Um, so I only get it down when I water it and that is covered as well. So at the moment, I know I've got two with spider mites and I'm just gonna go through and check all my other plants in that proximity, quarantine these ones and <laughs> just start on removing the spider mites. And this couldn't have come at a worse time, can I just state? Because I had loads of things to do today, like loads of chores. I was actually gonna start and give my guinea pig a bath because he's got down your after and we think he actually might have mites from the hay that we get. So I was on with that and then I noticed this. And to be honest, it's a two man job and my husband's not here yet. So it probably means I can push that back to this afternoon. But the first thing, I obviously need to do is check how bad the infestation is. You can see all that webbing there. You see, it's actually, you see? Oh, so all of that is webbing. And you've got your mites here. And I assume, I mean, that's how dusty it is. I swear to God, I love this plant. <laughs> but I just, I don't, there you go, there's loads there. I don't, oh my goodness, look at the edges. I don't dust my plants as much as I should. And well, let alone the one on the wardrobe, to be honest, I have completely neglected this one. Um, but this one I check out all the time. Look at that, it's, it's literally got so bad so quickly. Okay, so it's this section where I keep those plants that have got mites. Um, I put this guy there yesterday and I watered this guy last night but because he's neon i'm gonna give him another look around just to check um but i don't think i'll be having let me put that down i don't think i'll be having a problem here um just because it is quite far from the wardrobe i mean you can see it's dusty i dusted this um a couple of days ago so this dust build up is not bad trust me think that's okay it's hard to tell sometimes it's actually easier for me to see on the camera than it is with my eyes directly because I am blind I think that's okay okay it's, it's gonna be difficult because see how dusty they get it's just the constant bane of my life. Everything in our flat gets dusty. It doesn't help that we live above the motorway, but hey, can't change that. I think it's okay. You'd usually see webbing around here, and you don't. Oh, for God's sake, look how bad this is. And I watered this and cleaned its leaves down literally a few days ago. So you can see like the water build up um, sometimes at the end, you know, when you've, it's kind of like, there you go. It's kind of like it's sweating um, because you've given it maybe a bit too much water. But that, yeah, that seems okay. Um, this guy, again, incredibly dusty, but it doesn't seem to have that's a furry back I thought that was um I think they're all right yeah this is another reason why you need to keep your leaves clean people because spider mites like 
to get on in there when it's a bit dusty. But yeah, I think we're okay here. Um, this is a cutting I potted up yesterday. Um, a friend kindly sent me this and it rooted really quickly. So I potted that up yesterday. So that actually had a good clean down yesterday and stuff. So I know that's fine. Haven't cleaned this in a while, if I'm honest. It's been about a month. Um, I always forget about this guy. I think that's okay. Yes. I think that's fine. And then my Raphidophora tetrasperma. They had a repot last weekend. So they will be fine because I cleaned every single leaf down. But you can see obviously there's a build up already. I don't know why I just don't clean all the leaves on my plants at the same time. I tend to water them and then clean them um, at the same time. Like if I'm watering a plant, I'll clean the leaves at the same time, but I don't obviously water all my plants together at the same time. So there are different stages of dust. Oh God. I literally, I feel so embarrassed how dusty my leaves are. Like it's, this is why one of my biggest tips is to clean, clean, clean. But if you, can't find the time to do it every day. I'm trying to decide if that's dusty or... Yeah, I think that's just dusty. And then I'm sure this guy's absolutely fine. I repotted this up yesterday. I did it last night. Um, so I put two into one. And I literally gave that a thorough, thorough look through as always. So that will be fine. So yeah, I do think, luckily, we're just talking about those ones that I have um, already noticed, which is very very good luckily so this is our diy studio bit and i'm not going to show you the workbench because it's covered in clay because my husband sculpts which is really cool but i'm going to try not to touch his sculpture because i have a tendency of moving the table and knocking them over um but i'm looking for my i actually have to move his sculpture to get to the brushes which is a bit of a pain um, but we have loads of paintbrushes. Oh. We have loads of paintbrushes in these drawers. So this happens every time you don't clean them properly. But um, we've got, I think we use. We had turps on this one as well, and we've got like a normal paintbrush. I'm going to use this one. This is like softer. Um, it's one of my good ones. Oh. I'm going to wash it after. I'm not going to have to throw this out because all we're putting on here is the mixture, which is going to be rubbing alcohol or vodka, whatever you have in the house. Um, it's going to be rubbing alcohol. It's going to be water, and it's going to be dish soap. Um, so... I don't have to kind of like, it's nothing that will stay on the brush and then when I come to using it for actual painting, it's gonna like ruin the acrylics or anything um, or oil. So that is the brush I'm gonna be using. You can see it's soft, but it's not going to scratch the leaves. And I will literally show you on my hand, but I'll be showing you on the plant later, but I'm literally just going to rub everything off with this brush. So let's get going. And I'm gonna put some music on because this is gonna take me forever, I can feel it. So I have got everything ready. I've got my water bottle, I've got my um, alcohol, and I was going to use this, but I noticed it's not the same alcohol as other people use. I think it might be too strong. Um, so I'm gonna just stick with what I know works. So I've got my vodka, which is my alcohol. I've got my washing up liquid. And I've got my water bottle. So I'm going to fill up with water to about there. And then I'm going to add some dish soap. And then I'm going to add some vodka. Well, that was a little trickle. I only keep this for this reason, 
And I'm pretty sure the last time loads came out. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with this bottle. Let's hope there's more to it. I mean, you'd think it was empty, but honestly, a gush came out last time. I was quite shocked. I think I'm going to have to count my losses here. There wasn't that much. Mm. I'm certain there's still vodka in this. Okay, no, there is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Ooh. I mean, it smells like vodka. I'm going to use a tad. So. Okay. If this was like a plant, like a um, really expensive plant, I would not be doing this little test, but I'm desperate. So, so I'm mixing my mixture. And as you can see, it's plenty mixed. So I'm going to grab my plant and start cleaning. So what I'm going to do is I don't really want to soak the... Um, soil because I don't want to damage the roots. I just want the leaves. So I'm going to absolutely spray the front and the back. And then I'm going to place that there. I'm going to take my trusty paintbrush first time I, I'm not saying the mites came from this plant, but it wouldn't be the first time I got mites from this um, cellar. Um, and I always say, I really like the plant selection they have. I like the um, total, like the, um, the retail that he charges. I don't think it's crazy, but obviously you do sometimes get what you, weren't expecting you could just say that um they are very cheap i mean this one wasn't that cheap this was proper normal price this was like 9.99 um but yeah so i'm gonna do that to all of them front and back this is the new leaf so let's hope to god that that's okay i could literally wear I could literally wear like magnifying glasses and I would still feel like I'm just not seeing what I should be seeing. I'm really funny with my eyes. I think I'm blinder than my optician thinks I am. Okay. You see, this was the bad leaf and giving it a bit of a clean has made it look so pretty. Um... It does look okay now. It looks like I've got everything off. I mean, I'd be surprised if anything survives me doing this to it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that one on the side and I'm gonna go grab your butt and do the same. So that's me done now. I have um, soaked everything. Everything is just drip drying now. Um, when I first did this, the first time I left them to drip dry for quite a while actually, it was a few hours. 
Um, and then the, the time previous to this time with the, uh, the scarring that I got on the raindrop, the, obviously the alcohol mixture, because I just winged it, um, and the alcohol mixture was too high. Um, and also the dish soap as well. I remember putting a fair bit amount of that in. Um, so I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes um, just because alocasia, especially this one, it's a sensitive plant and I don't want to obviously do like kill it. So I'm just gonna leave it to soak in for a bit and then I'm gonna rinse it all off. Um, I went in there with the, the paintbrush, so I'm gonna make sure that's clean as well. Um, but I felt like using this this time, I felt like that really worked. Um, I felt like, because there's a lot of, if it, is it called ribbing? There's like a lot of ribbon in between like each leaf. So getting in there with this, like I really could feel like I was like doing a good job. Um, if you're working with like a flatter um, leaf, like this one, for example, um, you could go along with this, but I think this would be a bit more like the abrasion of using a tissue paper might actually be worse for it than this. Like, believe it or not, this is like really rough. Um, so yeah, I felt like that tip that I just got from YouTube this morning was excellent. Um, what I've done prior to this as well is with aphids where you could actually see them moving, you can't with spider mites so much. Um, well, you can't at all. I can just see webbing and some dots. Um, what I did with aphids was I got some, um, I got some mask and tape, so it wasn't like proper, proper sticky, but I literally just put some around my fingers and then I would literally just dab off the bugs um, and then I would do the mixture on top of that as well. So I didn't do that with this time because like I say, you can't really see the spider mites, um, but I'm just gonna clean up now. By the time I'm finished cleaning, um, cause I've got some other stuff to do and I've got some like, just other stuff, other normal chores to do as well. Um, I'll come back and rinse all of this off and hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't have a problem anymore. But if I do have this problem, I'll pull this mixture away now and I will make this mixture again in about a week's time because I really don't want to overdo it with this. So I'll make this again in a week's time and then I will redo this process all over again if I need to, but I hope it won't. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes now. I just got a few things done around the house and the dishwasher, I'm only cleaning the kitchen. Um, so it's time to clean the plants and um, just wash off any of that, um, that mixture. So the plants are kind of still a little bit damp. Um, I mean, this leaf here is like practically dry. So I'm just gonna wash it off. It feels very, um, feels very like, you know, like that mineral that you, if you've got a humidifier, you know what I mean, but you've got that kind of like build up of like mineral deposit. It feels like that at the moment. Um, it's actually still incredibly dusty feeling as well. So I'm gonna give it a good, good soak under this water. It would definitely be the easier to do this in the shower if you can. I'm not going to because this pot I've got it in has the smallest drainage hole and it's I don't think it's adequate enough. So if I accidentally got water in the soil, then I'm at risk of overwatering the plant. So I'm just gonna continue struggling like this, but this is why I'm doing it this way. Um, even with the, the uh, small one as well, I was able to cover the soil. Um, but I'm not sure how other people do this, but I personally have found if I'm getting the water wet, obviously it's getting an unnecessary water 
and it could end up um, killing the plant by overwatering it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing this. And one of the things that I really want in my next, um, my next house is a, a tap that you can kind of like, it's like a hose that you can like take it out of its little socket and you know, hose things down in the sink. I think that's an absolutely genius idea. I actually have such a thing at work and I could have one, but I just don't feel like that style would suit the flat. Well, saying that actually, you can get kind of industrial style one, so maybe it would, but yeah, that's a dream, dream tap for this reason. Um, and I've just spotted one that I have not cleaned up yet. Um, it's actually still got cobwebs on it, this one. So maybe I missed this with the mixture. Did I miss the mixture with this one? Oh, I actually think I did, you know. I don't know why I would do that. I'm just gonna give it a quick. So I'm going to let that dry now and I'm going to do what I said I was doing earlier and just like do some maintenance with this plant. Can you see here all of this kind of like papery stuff? It's a bit ugly. I usually wait until the plant dries out completely to be able to just take this off because if it's still kind of soft, then it's still easily attachable and you can just rip parts of the plant off that you don't want to take off. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely wait until it gets papery to do this. So this one, actually I just cut that. So this is still kind of fleshy like, it's a little bit dry, but you see if I was to pull that, it's not coming off that easily. So I'll leave that there, but yeah all the dry stuff off it's no good to the plant it doesn't look good there's no need for it to be there and then i can actually give this plant the water because it's clearly thirsty like i said it doesn't have adequate drainage so i tend not to just do too much i let it pull down as you can see it's kind of like a bit of a pull there but I've always found that it absorbs and it's fine so I'll do a couple of cups full and that seems like it's going down well if I felt like I was overdoing it I would pour some out but you can see that that's completely absorbed already could do a little bit more but um this one sits underneath the pebble tray on top of a pe pebble tray sorry so um, it's kind of sucks up some water from that little humidity pebble tray that I've given it. Um, this feels a bit slimy. I'm not doing very well at remembering what ones I've cleaned. Let me just grab a paper towel. Just going to soak it so it's not too harsh. And clean this leaf. This feels a bit soapy. Okay. I am perfectly happy. Yeah, I'm perfectly happy with those. Let me show you. That guy is completely spider mite free, so it seems. These used to be covered and they seem completely okay now. So Fingers crossed, that works for me. I am sure it will. Um, I'll check up on it um, probably daily, just because I'm like that, but I will check up on it um, and see if it needs another kind of like um, mixture doing, maybe. So it's Sunday today, so 
Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll probably decide if I need to do it at the weekend. If it if it's very clearly like it completely has spider mites again, I'll obviously do it sooner. But I'm thinking sensitivity wise, this I don't want to overdo it with. This one is a lot more robust and I have less like emotional connection to this one. So yeah. Um but yeah, I'll see if it needs to do it again. Um but fingers crossed it doesn't and hopefully this is the last of the spider mites for this year, so I can't have any more in 2020. 2020 needs to end now with the spider mites, but fingers crossed, we're all done, and that's it. So if you liked watching this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I believe I'm now on 610 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I can't, literally can't believe it. It literally is so cool. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!